Today in class, we really got into a lot of type terminology. We went over quite a few vocabulary words, but what's really important is, is for you to know how to edit those things in Illustrator so that you can see why they're important. So let's start off with our check for understanding. You're going to see that I've given you three little things I'd like you to change. So the first thing says to change the sentence so that is a typeface that is a serif font. So let's select our type. On the right side of our screen in our properties panel, this should pop up our character panel. Another way to access it is under Window, Type, Character. I like to have my panel open on the side, like free floating, just because I think it's easier to navigate, but that's personal preference. Once you have your type selected, we want to hit a serif font. Now, a serif font has a little flourishes on the edge of the font. And we know this by, let's just change, let's find one that has little edges. I like uh, Bodoni. Okay, I'm going to zoom in really close to the edge. I can tell because all the letters have these little edges or these little feet that are called serifs, okay? Without them, it's a sans serif type of font. With them, it's a serif font. The next section asks you to change this sentence. So the font is a bold sans serif. It's at 28 points. The letting is 32 and the tracking is 40. Now, don't get overwhelmed. All the settings that you need are all in the same panel. So let's select our font. Let's find a bold sans serif. This is a sans serif, that's bold, size 28. If you're not sure what a button does, hover your mouse over it, it tells you. Set the font size, okay? Then it says to change the letting to 32. Set the letting, right? So I'm gonna change this here to 32. Letting is the space between lines of text. Then it says to change the tracking to 40. Tracking is right under letting. Tracking is the space between groups of letters and words. That's all you have to do. And then the last of the check for understanding asks you to write one word below that describes you in a sans serif bold font with 36 points and a tracking set to 55. So you would take your type tool and you would write a word that describes you and then set these um, parameters. Okay, and that's your check for understanding. It lets me know you know how to access all these changes. The main part of today is going to take a little bit of time, but you're going to be creating this Snellen chart. You know, the chart they ask you to do when you're checking your vision. Your rule is you have to only use one box of area text, and you're going to be changing the letting and kerning to create this poster. So what that means is when I take my text tool, I'm clicking and making one box where all these letters are going to go. I'm going to start off by typing every letter on each line. So E is the first letter. I'm going to hit enter, then type the next line. Do that until you have all the letters down. Okay, once I have that, I notice everything is centered. So I'm going to select all my type and I'm going to go to my paragraph setting on the bottom and just align it through its center. Next, I got to find a font that looks like this. If you have Rockwell on your computer, that's a really close one. If you don't, just find another bold font that looks similar. All right, I'm going to hit Rockwell bold. I think that looks pretty close. Okay, and now I'm going to highlight every line and try to match it to this line. So I'm going to highlight the E. This is a lot bigger. So I'm going to keep making my E large until it matches this E pretty well. I think that's pretty close. If I'm not sure, I can always drag this over. It's a little larger, so I'm going to shrink it down. Again, I'm highlighting letter by letter because it's like line by line in this case. All right, the next thing I'm going to highlight is F and P. Make them match a little bit more. I'm going to have to change the letting, right, because now it's touching the E. Remember, the letting is this button. It's the space between lines of type. I'm going to match that up as well. I also have to change the tracking because look how much space is between F and P. So I'm going to make this number ginormous, maybe even 500. There we go. That looks a little more accurate. Okay. And I'm just repeating this until I'm done with this whole thing. All right. I have more letters here, but you see what I mean? And this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time today. And you're going to have to change each line of text. So it's going to take a little while. So save often. Make sure you're using your character panel and all the settings you need to make the little rectangles here, use your shape tool and just make them green and red. Okay, good luck.